When I first started programming, I was so excited about building things. I've always been a curious person. I like knowing things. And that was a great driver to have, a desire to learn things. Having curiosity constantly tapping at your brain. It lights a fire in you like nothing else. There was just one problem. Users didn't like my projects. Now that's a very blanket statement to make. What I actually mean is that some users didn't like my ideas. Some users didn't like the products when they were using them and some users didn't understand how to use them. But when I first heard this feedback, I categorized it all as users didn't like my projects. Essentially, I closed the door to the opportunity to improve. And that's one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made, being ignorant to feedback. Now I was ignorant, but I wasn't stupid. I still wanted to improve my projects. So I started asking people for help. Now you have to understand, at this point in my career, I had never built a successful product for anyone. So I didn't understand the process of building and iterating. I decided to reach out to a long-term friend and mentor of mine. I asked to meet up for a coffee so that we could catch up and I could ask for some advice that would hopefully help me take my business to the next level. When I presented him with the problem, he answered it so simply. Tom, you aren't thinking about your customers. And when I first heard this, I was like, what? Of course I'm thinking about the customer. That's why I've built this product. I've identified their needs, but I was wrong. I wasn't thinking about the customer. I was thinking about what I thought the customer would want and then just enjoying the process of building things. I was so obviously not thinking about the customer, which is the most important thing when you're building or selling anything. Amazon famously defines its mission statement as being the world's most customer centric company. But the number one thing that has made us successful by far is obsessive compulsive focus on the customer. And when you look at how they build their products, it's very clear that the customer has been the center of attention throughout the entire design and development process. So what were the steps that I took to shift my mindset to start thinking about the customer first? I had to completely change my thought process for building products. It was no longer about how cool I thought it was. It was no longer about the functionality of the product. It was all about how easy and how engaging it was to use. If a user's experience is difficult or unengaging, they're not going to use a product, regardless of the functionality that it has, which is a very hard pill to swallow if you've been building a product for months. It's taken a while, but I'd say one of the most important skills that I have learned is the ability to solely think about the customer. And the easiest way to do it is treat everyone like they're stupid. First of all, I don't mean that in a rude way. If you start talking down to people, you're not gonna make any friends. What I mean is that you shouldn't assume that users actually know what they want. And you shouldn't assume that users know how to use your product once you've built it. Develop your ideas based on the problems that your users have, not based on what they say would be a solution to their problems. And don't forget to add in tutorials and walkthroughs into your products. Even if something seems so obvious, it may not be to someone else. Remember the Microsoft paperclip? How useful that seemingly meaningless feature was when you actually needed it. Almost every successful product has some kind of tutorial or walkthrough, even when it doesn't feel like it. So the piece of advice that made me a better programmer? Actually think about the customer. Well everybody, that's it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy, and if you did, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.